Oh, yes. Good news, good news, good news. Hi, I'm Paul Begley. The Army has a brand new gun called the XM25. It's a, it looks like a rifle. It's about the same size of an M16. But this thing is this thing is wicked. This thing is a beast. It's a grenade launcher. But it ain't your normal grenade launcher. This gun, the XM25, has a microchip implanted in the grenade shell. And this mic and and this gun has lasers. It has uh, all kinds of sensors. It has all types of technology uh, assessments that the gun can. You can. You can. Your target can be 2,300 feet away. It can be seven football fields away. The enemy hiding behind a wall or hiding behind rocks, thinking they're safe. And this gun will seek them out with a laser, measure the distance, check the air pressure and temperature and moisture, uh, do assessment on the, the, the exact distance, and then relay the information to the shell, to the grenade inside the gun, and tell the shell what it needs to do, how far it needs to go, and where it needs to land, where it needs to hit. The, uh, it has all types of scopes. When the soldier is ready to fire, he fires this gun, the XM25. It will, the, the shell, which is a grenade, will actually travel further than the M16 bullets. And then when it gets to the target precisely, it will explode, making this gun a game changer. The Army says this thing is absolutely going to turn back the tide on the insurgencies of the Taliban that have been entrenched in the mountains and rough regions of Afghanistan. What the Russians couldn't do when they fought Afghanistan 20 years ago, the United States soldier will do, and that is uproot, turn over, flip up, crush the head of the snake. Literally, the Taliban's worst nightmare has just come up on it. This thing looks like something that Sylvester Stallone was using in Rambo. This looks like something from Terminator 2. I mean, I saw, I've looked at pictures of it, I've studied it in detail, I've read the complete analysis of this, of this weapon, and it's been in the hands of the United States soldiers for the last seven days. They've been using it on hot patrols in Afghanistan, and the first assessment of the weapon information has just come back, and it is a game, quote, the soldiers on the ground are saying, quote, this is a game changer. In other words, Go ahead, guys. You can hide in buildings and hide behind corners. It don't matter. We're going to blow through you. We can seek and destroy you, and we, don't have, and we don't have to call artillery in to do it. We'll do it. Think about this. I mean, this is amazing. I'm driving through a small town here in, in Indiana, but I just, I'm, dry, I'm on an 80-mile drive. I, I got gas, drinking bad coffee. I almost ran out of gas. It's 22 degrees now, and... I have my iPhone on and I was I was just scrolling through some of the latest news going on today and I come across this story and it's this is wonderful I mean God bless America God bless technology God bless the USA God bless the American troops the men and women in uniform God bless the soldiers in Afghanistan you know do you remember World War two the Germans had the Sherman tanks they had a superior tank at the time. They were entrenched. And as the Allied forces come ashore on June 6, 1944, and as we stormed the beaches of Normandy and had to blow up the pillboxes and had to work our way through, the, through France and through Luxembourg and all our way headed toward uh, Germany, we, and, you know, it was new technology that gave America the edge. First of all, it was these assault boats. The, these uh, I forgot they call them now. I forgot the name. But these put these boats that that allowed us to come to shore with 50, 60 soldiers on it. 
Then we have the new tanks that came forward that were quicker, faster, more mobile, and just as deadly, and, and were, were better than what the Germans had. Later, it was the atomic bomb that Harry S. Truman dropped on Harry... Hiroshima and, and Yakasaki. When, when, when these bombs were dropped, they were game changers. Without the atomic bomb, I know we don't want to talk about it. Everybody gets all emotional about it, and I do too. When you talk about blowing up 150,000 people at one shot, it's horrible. It's, 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 it's beyond my comprehension. It's beyond anybody's comprehension. It's, it's the most devastating thing that could have ever happened to humanity. But if it had not happened, here's what would have happened. America would have forged forward. The Emperor of Japan would not have surrendered. If this war went on, went on for probably another 18 months, 250,000 more soldiers would have died. But the game changer came, the atomic bomb. And once it was dropped on the two cities of Japan, the war was over, period, game over. This new XM25 is going to uproot, dismantle, squash the head of the insurgent Afghanistan ragtag forces that these radical Islamic jihadists have, and, and their advantage has been their terrain, the, and their tunnels, and their and their walls, and their rocks, and the and and that's over. We'll be blowing them up. Behind their rock, blowing them right out of the right out of their buildings, before they can see our soldiers, before they can even get a glimpse of our guys, our guys will have a grenade on their head. I'm Paul Begley. Great news, great breakthrough. We need it. We need to get this thing done. And finally, the Obama administration allowed uh, Joe Lieberman come on and say we're definitely going to stay till 2014 and here's why that decision was made once this weapon was revealed that it was uh, doable and workable and powerful why bail out of the war now when you've got the game changer why stop fighting now when you've got a weapon that, that gives the American soldier the foot soldier on the ground gives the boots on the ground the power and the leverage to up evil, to uproot evil. I'm Paul Begley. <laughs> Have a great day. It's a great day. What great news. What a great day.